no. Oh, hi. hi. Oh my gosh, you look beautiful. I love your hair. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> just trying something new. I love it. And I get to see more of you. <laughs> oh, you said it was an emergency? Uh, are you okay? Oh, sorry. I should have specified. I meant fashion emergency. <laughs> sorry, I usually call Rachel for these types of things, but she's being a good Jew and observing Yom Kippur, and I'm being a bad Jew and going on a virtual date with a 20-something who just asked me to dress in Renaissance attire, which is a little strange because we'd only been messaging for about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, Patrick is quite an interesting person. Yeah. I think you'd get a kick out of him. I am here simply to please and entertain you, my lady. Oh. Uh, I am also a worker of wood and a blacksmithy. Okay, stop. Are you actually a time traveler from the Middle Ages? Oh my God, I wish. <laughs> Sadly, no. Okay, can you show me something you've made? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Be right back. Okay. Okay. That sounds loud. No, it's okay. Don't hurt yourself. Oh my! Oh, that's a that's a lot. You made them. I, uh, I swear I am not an axe murderer. Are you a pirate? Yeah. You're not? Oh God, no. I'm oh, not. you have a boat. Wait, hold on. I can't see you with the eye patch. It's... Why are you a pirate? Why you is there so much laundry behind you? Oh, what are you talking about? No, Tori, are you okay? Are you having a nervous breakdown? What's, oh God, it's everything. Oh, it's bad. What's happening? I don't know if I told you, but they finally opened Dan's office back up. So he's been coming in every day, which at first I was really excited about because I'm like super sick of seeing him around the house. And then I realized that it's actually just then me alone with the kids, like all day, every day. I have no help. I have no breaks. The other day I didn't pee until 10 p.m. I just, I don't know how to keep up with all this stuff. It's like the cooking and the cleaning and the laundry, like, they eat six times a day. So they finish a meal and I clean up and then it's time to start cooking the next meal. I'm literally drowning in, in kids stuff mm -hmm. and I hate it. Um, I just am drinking a lot. How do you make it work? <laughs> well, I scream into a pillow on an hourly basis. Okay. So that helps. I'll try that. Honestly, I'm really overwhelmed right now. Got it. Got it. Talk to me. What's going on? I just, I feel like I'm being pulled in a million directions. I'm trying and failing to be a homeschooling single mom and while well, running my business out of my house. And I, I just feel like I'm disappointing everybody all the time. So dad, I know I told you I was going to go to Yom Kippur and you bought a ticket for me and I was really looking forward to spending that, you know, virtual time together, but I can't go anymore. Oh no. What could you possibly, yeah. what could you be doing on Kol Nidre? Tell me. That's more important than praying to God. Go ahead. Tell me. Okay. okay. All right. Let's, uh, so I haven't told you guys this because it's, I don't know, a little awkward, but I have been going on virtual dates. Oh. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. 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 And What's that like? Good evening, Tide, my fair lady. Mine eye hath taketh interest in thee. Thou art more beauteous than all the fair maidens in the kingdom. How art thou on this fine night? I have so many questions. 
You did say you wanted to date someone young and fun. <laughs> I did. I think I forgot that I'm old and lame. You're neither of those things. Well, let's hope he agrees with you. Uh, all right, so here's the problem. I have nothing in my closet that screams, huzzah! I like what you have on now. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I just, I feel like it says Sunday brunch and not really a medieval garb. I think there's another dress that might work. It's not Renaissance exactly, but it is jewel toned and it makes me feel good, you know? Um, where'd you, where'd you go? Are you there? Uh, yeah, I, I, I just wanted to give you your privacy. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little naked, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's totally fine. I wasn't sure that you wanted me to see you that way. I, I'm actually okay with it because you saw me dance and that's really way more revealing. When you breastfeed for two years, you don't really think of your boobs as being sexual or taboo anymore. They're just these two mounds of flesh that fed a tiny human. Oh yeah, but that was probably really strange for you. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think strange is the word I'd use. This dress has a zipper that is really hard to do by yourself. This is when I wish I had another adult in the house. I mean, I always wish I have another adult in the house, but really wish I had one right now. I wish it could be there to help you. Oh, same. All right, hold on. Oh. Okay. Oh. What do you think? That looks gorgeous. You think so? Absolutely. Thank you for putting up with me. I know I'm a lot. My date this week happens to fall on Yom Kippur. Oh, so he's not Jewish, I take it. I mean, if he's at the date, he's probably not Jewish. Right, right, okay. Well, or not practicing. Right. right. It could be a name only. As long as there's no thunderbolts, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So is this someone you haven't what? met yet? Wait, thunderbolts? I missed. God, that's God's wrath coming down oh, on you for not going to shoal on Yom Kippur. You know, just <laughs> yeah. floods, gnats, you know, something. <laughs> I don't know. Frogs. So this is your uh, first date with this. Person. Yeah, so this will be the blind, completely blind. blind. I kind of wish I could hear how you actually speak. I cry your mercy, for I doth proclaim this way honestly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I worked at this uh, like Renaissance fair for like five years. So I have a couple of ales and it just comes flowing out of me. <laughs> that kind of night, huh? Oh God, isn't that kind of night every night? I mean, uh, <laughs> if death is coming for me, he's gonna have to chase me down the path of revelry. Ah. Wish I could join you. Unfortunately, I've got a mortgage to pay and a kid to take care of, so I'm on the path of bitter survival. Balancing so much during such a stressful time. And I also know you're a little bit of a perfectionist, okay? So can you stop being your toughest critic and just give yourself some grace, some space, some love, some appreciation right now? Remember that you're a fierce warrior goddess, my love. Oh, I don't feel like one. I feel like I'm crumbling and I'm trying to stay so strong for everybody. And I just, I can't. Usually I have my best friends. They're my rock. They are the ones who ground me and bring me back down to earth. And all of them are falling apart right now too. I mean, everything is on fire. I feel you. Oh, honey. Hi. Bless. Oh, Jenny, there you are. Oh. <sighs> Kaylee, you're, you're a pirate. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the only one. Why are you a freaking pirate? It was all supposed to be pirates. Yeah. Right, that makes sense. Well, wow, you look, you look gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> uh, Honey, what's going on with you? Kevin has COVID. What? How? Yeah. How? I 
think it was last week we did this, we did this photo shoot. Have you gotten tested? Do you, do you know if you have it? Okay, uh, I did get tested today, so no, I don't know if I have it. Where are you sleeping tonight? Are you sleeping in the kitchen? Uh, I'm gonna blow up the air mattress later and sleep on the floor by the bed. Okay. And, um, I mean, like, look, we share the same bed. Like, right next to him? It's a tiny studio, so, like, not right next to him, but, like, a little, a little... That sounds too. Kind of right next to him. I mean, look, I, I I made him a quarantine pod. Okay, I'm I'm trying to do something about the situation. So I took blankets and and I covered both sides of the bunk bed. So he's got a little pod. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, I should go in there. No, maybe you should stay where you are. I I kind of want you in. A it's okay. It, okay, we have to walk to do this. I have to go to the restroom. You know what I mean? So we we are walking around together. Oh. So oh. Oh wow! That's oh. a little. Well, right now. you have really good fork making skills. My kids would be impressed. Yeah, agreed. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Sorry, you have COVID. And I feel helpless and powerless. And so I just go on these dates and I talk to these guys, and it just gives me a sense of escape. But I mean, that's not sustainable. I don't know. I feel guilty because. People are sick and dying right now. And here I am going, oh, I don't know who I should date. I'm having all these really fun conversations with these two really attractive men. It's ludicrous. I feel like there's something wrong with me. Hey, go get a kick out of this. Ready? Swords! Ah! <laughs> Did you make those? Yeah. <laughs> They're really well done. I watched YouTube because I'm uh, crazy and bored and, and you have COVID and I'm making jokes, but... I'm so They're sorry. much needed jokes. You don't, you don't have COVID. Kevin has COVID. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. Oh God, I'm sorry. You don't it's have okay. COVID. You don't have COVID. Okay? We're just gonna say it over and over again. You're fine. Yeah. And I have swords. Yeah, and you have swords. God bless you. I'm going to get back to it. Love y'all. Thank Bye. you so much. All right. I'm gonna go do it. Love you. Love you. Talk to you soon. Holy shit! Oh my god! I told her she had COVID! She she had COVID. She died from COVID! Oh my god, Kevin has COVID! Oh my god, what if Kevin dies? No! Oh god, stop, Kevin stop. Died. No, 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 you don't say things like that. He's going to be fine. He's young. Young? He's That's when people are, like, young people are dying. Did you hear about that Broadway guy? He's a young guy and he has a kid. He's got, like, a little baby. And I know! But he's dying. Tori, we have to think positively about this. Positive thinking. Thoughts make reality. We can manifest this, okay? This thing is airborne. What are you talking about? We've got to get her out of there. Wait, why don't we get her a hotel room? <gasps> I'll pay for a hotel room. I don't... I don't I'll think put it on Dan's corporate card. They'll never know. Honestly, we need to get her out of there. I can't have her breathing the same air. I know, Tori. She's not going to leave him alone. Why? Would you leave Dan alone? Yes. <laughs> I mean, of course you would leave Dan alone. Of course I would. Why did I even ask you that? I knew the answer to the question. How long have we been friends? I know. Maybe we should have a longer conversation about that. Okay, maybe next week. I understand that you want to distract. I realize that you're alone. I realize that you want community, but I'm really going to ask you, do you really want a polyamorous married couple to date? Or is it that you need greater community deep inside of yourself? A deeper relationship with yourself? Yes, and I think it's just being a single mom during a pandemic, not having a support system, not having my friends and my parents and my brother to be here. No. There's something about what Jackson and his wife, Nicole, can offer me that is intriguing because it does take a village to raise a child and I'm doing it mostly by myself. I mean, I have my ex Kyle, but when I'm here, I'm here alone with her, you know? And 
if I jump into this thing with Jackson and Nicole, I've got two more adults, possibly three with the boyfriend to help pitch in and be there for me. Plus they have kids and Zoe needs to be around children her own age. She hasn't been around kids in months and I worry for her. And that's something that Jackson and Nicole can offer me. Mm, I understand. And yet confusing her with who are all the people my mother is dating as opposed to who oh could be a nourishing contribution to her world are two separate things. And I want you to know, I understand how hard it's been on you. My God, you've gone through a divorce. You're doing all of this on your own. It's the middle of a pandemic. So please have some grace with yourself. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with you. You are on a tough journey. I just feel really alone and feel really anxious all of the time. I hear you, sister. I've reached my breaking point this week with it. Oh my God, she's got COVID. <gasps> no, she doesn't have COVID. Okay, wait, we wait, didn't wait. know that. Wait, 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 stop. Oh, oh. That was my grandmother's wedding, China. No. Maybe it was just some everyday dishes. No, I know what it sounds like. I broke a platter once. Okay, well, just remember you love your children. Sometimes, sometimes you love your children. Oh my God. It's gonna be okay, Tori, I promise. It really will. And instead of focusing on everything you need and what's not working out, let's just shift the conversation a bit to, to the positive. Wow. Something that's maybe making you happy, giving you life. I know I should say that something on the inside, but the truth is Will is making me happy. Okay. He's just grounded and fun to talk to. And we have this really beautiful connection with each other. And I want to jump in and explore it and enjoy it for what it is. And I want to dive in, but then there's this ex-girlfriend of his who lives with him, who is this third wheel in all of our conversations. And it makes me feel like I don't fit into his life. You're just practicing dating after 10 years of being married. So before we do anything serious, let's remember that you have a lot to figure out about yourself first. So I've decided to keep going on dates because I have to keep my options open. And yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, plus it's not... I'm not at a place where I can really jump into another committed relationship. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you're looking to settle down. I'm just, not. Just started. Right. I mean, I, I haven't dated yeah. in over 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Give it at least three or four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember when you were dating before. So this is just great that you're back there. <laughs> Like a time you account. hated when I was yeah. dating before. You actually told me to stop bringing men to the house because you, you know, were. I said, you know, wait to the third date till I see them. <laughs> you barely knew their name when you were bringing them. They were an interesting cast. <laughs> and there not were true. a variety, as I recall. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. There was a variety. Think about this as like gathering information, like dropping into your body, out of your head. How does it feel? right? What feels good? What doesn't? Speaking of which, I really would like us to get clear on your deal breakers for a minute. Well, I have a lot of those. You have a lot of what you don't want, <laughs> which I appreciate. Yeah. But again, I'd like to focus over on the qualities in your ideal mate that would be a contribution to your life. And I, I would like it not to be the mind, but more the body. Like, hell yeah, this gives me life. I feel juicy and alive. Or no, this makes my vagina clench. This makes me sick to my stomach. And when you have these deal breakers and you go into these different dates, you're going to have a lot more clarity, a lot more certainty in your heart, a lot more deep inner knowing. Yeah. I'm missing all of those things right now. It's okay. It won't be for much longer. So without overthinking, we're going to drop into your heart. We're going to look into your belly. We're going to drop into your sacred yoni pussy because she's going to tell you what's a hell yes or a fuck no. Hmm. Well, a hell yes is definitely sexual chemistry and passion. Okay. That's a great place to start. <laughs> and clearly I'm very horny because that's the first thing I thought of. Oh, please, my love. No shame. No shame in that. There's a, there's a truth in your body and your heart and your intuition. It's telling you what to choose. So go with it. 
What else? I choose someone who either is a parent or wants to have children, wants to have a family with me. You're a mom. That's awesome. I love kids. You do? Yeah. I taught uh, uh, drama at this elementary school for a while. The Ooh. kindergartners were always my favorite. Yeah, but you didn't have to live with one 24-7 during a pandemic. Ah, you speak as the truth. Choose it. Manifest it. Own it. Okay. I choose someone who makes me laugh and who can challenge me intellectually. I am terribly sorry. Wouldst thou mind if I left you for a nunce um, to travel yonder to mine barrels of ale? In the, um, shit. My booze is in the basement. Um, <laughs> okay. Do you mind if uh, I, I go set up down there real quick? It'll just like, just take a second. Oh, sure. Yeah. I shall be with you anon. That okay. means like, like less than a minute. Sorry. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Lovely. Keep going. Okay, I choose someone who has established career, uh, who is financially secure, who's ambitious, knows what they want. Are you doing renovation on your house? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got this place uh, like from one of those bank short sale, like foreclosure things right before lockdown. Uh, when I moved in, half the house was a construction site. Hooray! I've just been pretty much doing it myself. Uh, Oh. Working on the place is the only thing I got going on right now. That and fantasy modeling are pretty much my only gigs. Fantasy modeling? Hmm? Is that another way of saying porn? <laughs> no. Oh. Huh. Okay. I I can see the confusion. Um it's like a uh Shit, I'm just gonna show you visuals. I think visual oh. will help. Uh, okay. Here we go, hold on, I got a, I got a folder. Um, I'm a little concerned, but I'm gonna go with it. I appreciate that. Uh, here, okay, uh, here is uh, one of my, one of my uh, all-time favorites. What am I even looking at right now? Are you underwater? Yeah. <gasps> What? How did you do that? How long did you have to hold your breath? Like, a, I don't know, like a minute? I was a, a lifeguard in college, so it was pretty easy. Okay. So far, I found out that you've been a drama teacher, a fantasy model, a lifeguard. You are a renaissance man. Oh my God, yes! Yes! You see what I did there? Thank you. I did, and I liked it. Ah, good. I am here simply to please and entertain you, my lady. Yeah, the way we always talked about it, you can't come into a relationship needy, yeah. thinking the other person's going to fulfill your needs. You have to come into a relationship whole. Matter of fact, overflowing that you're in a position to be giving rather than looking to receive. Right. You know? Both do that. They work. So, you know, and I thought that that's where I was before I met Kyle, but... You know, I still have work to do on myself. It's a process. It's an everyday process yeah. for your whole life. It's not like I'm going to get yeah. done with yeah. working on myself. Right. There's no grade. You know, There's no Dan final I, exam. It's yeah, just, Dan and I came together so young that I think we did a lot of this work side by side, you know? Yeah. Um, but it's an interesting journey you're on, my dear. Yeah. Just but enjoy it. Enjoy the male attention. I mean, I think that's, you know, and company, you know? They provide a different kind of company. I really wish I could pour you a drink. Oh my God. Holy shit. Patrick, are you okay? Did I mention I'm also a stuntman? Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Oh yeah. I can, uh, I can light myself on fire if you want. No, no. Please don't do that. I believe you. That fall was very convincing. My hair okay? It has a windswept look to it now. Thank you. I choose someone who's doing the work, you know, who can be vulnerable and express themselves and tell me about their issues instead of hiding them. I mean, cards on the table. Huh? Uh, I just, I've been thinking a lot about the future and 
legacy, all that bullshit. And um, I, every day we are basically staring down the barrel of a gun. So it's just all, I just feel like it's time. Uh, it's, it is, you know what? It is time for more libations to wash reality away. <laughs> Which is why I want to welcome you to my magical tavern. I bid thee welcome. <laughs> okay, when you commit, you really go all the way. I have had a lot of time on my hands. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, this, this here is my crowning achievement. Yeah. The oldie wine closet or something. <laughs> okay. Wait, you have an entire closet full of wine? Oh, yeah. Well, not just wine. I mean, a bottle a day keeps the depression away. I think they say that. I do. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just a shame you don't have anyone else to share it with. I'm actually having a party tonight. But you look great, and um, if you wanted to, uh, you should come. I'm sorry, you're having a party? Uh, a few of my fellow countrymen. How many people are we talking? Uh, a score or two? I don't know, like a few dozen. I want someone who's quarantine compatible with me, you know? If they're not taking the pandemic seriously, if they're not keeping themselves safe, then I'm going to be in danger. And that's, that's just not going to happen. I have to put myself and my daughter and my family first. And if someone's not going to respect that, then I can't date them. Good. So as soon as you see the signs to the contrary, you're going to say, that's a f no. Yeah, I stopped doing that like quarantine thing. God, like a few months ago. It, uh, ooh, it was really starting to get to me. I'm, I'm like an extrovert, probably tell. Uh, and so I need actual human content. I was, uh, it's going to a dark place there. <laughs> I am also an extrovert who is struggling big time with this, but there's a very contagious and airborne virus that's infecting millions of people and killing hundreds of thousands, and you're about to have a super spreader event. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe. Hey, the, the Great Plague did not wipe everyone out in the medieval ages, so I figure, why stop the jollification now? I don't know how to end things. I, you know, I told you in the past, I would just like cut things off and, and just Run. done, right? And I don't want to do that, but I don't have the skill set. I don't know how to break up with people. I'm not good at it. Yet you will be. I just don't like hurting people's feelings. Well, my love, it's time to learn to sit in the fire. You got to burn. It's the only way we evolve and grow. And it's actually a kindness to them to say this rather than just ghosting them. So be brave, be true to yourself. And I promise you, you will get everything you've chosen and more. You are funny and lovely and sweet and fascinating but I don't think we are quarantine compatible and that is a really big deal breaker for me. Oh, um, shit, that uh, kind of took a turn for the worse there. Yeah, I'm trying to do this new thing where I am honest and upfront with people instead of ghosting them. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm sorry, it was really lovely to talk to you and I hope you stay safe. Sweet adieu, Kaylee. May our souls meet in another space and time. <laughs> this is just something that's on my mind right now. I really, I want to choose someone who doesn't have addiction issues with alcohol and drugs and I feel like I attract those people to me. Kyle had issues with alcohol and boyfriends before him did. And, you know, I'll be on video chat with Jackson and he's always got a drink, you know, and it's, it's gnawing at me. Mm -hmm. because I know what it means and I don't want it to be. I don't want to do it again, you know, because my savior complex turns on and I feel like I can fix these people with my love and I never can. 
The addiction always wins. Let me ask you a question, okay? Not from your mind, but from your body and your heart. What do you love, even if it's disgusting, be brave and admit it. What do you love about dating someone with an addiction? That they need me. Stop right there. Thank you. Sit in that. Remember, we just said a moment before, I don't want you to need or want. I want you to choose. So that part of you that's seeking from the outside in, you need me, I am enough, is going to be your demise every time. But if you turn it and you have it from the inside out and you need yourself, but in a healthy way, you honor yourself, you're there for yourself. We both know that two empty people coming together are codependent. And what I'm here for is to support you in being whole on the inside. So two whole people are attracted to one another. And that way the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And you can give from the overflow to your career, to your daughter, and to that relationship. And he can do the same for you. And that is what you deserve. Even with all this work we've been doing, and it's so helpful and your words are so beautiful, but for some reason, I just can't be it yet. I should be able to, I should be able to stop this abusive pattern that I'm doing to myself. Right. Like at the end of the day, it's not even about them. It's about me. Yes. And this, this desire to fix somebody is because I'm actually avoiding fixing myself. Yes, yes, yes. Right? And it's so much easier to focus on them than it is to focus on me because if I focus on me I have to feel the pain I know the fire and I have to sit in the discomfort and it sucks and I hate it if I focus on them I get to not do that there's also pain wrapped up in it too because there was hope there was hope for something better and then it just crashes and burns Mm. All right, stay there for a second because it's always going to crash and burn if you continue to seek your completion from the outside in. Pause at the end of every date and realize everything you've been seeking, your job is to take it, turn around, give it to yourself so that you seriously do enough inner work to balance your outer dating so that you love your wobbly parts as much as your triumphant parts. You truly love and give that insecure part of you the love she needs from you, not keep seeking it from another. When you do that, you're going to be balanced. You're going to be clear. You're going to be whole. And you'll know who's actually good for you because after all those interactions, you won't have that addicted high and then the crash. You'll feel calm, peaceful, home inside because they will be an outer reflection of the inner work you're doing. There is, I promise you, a really beautiful payoff if you do, because as you do this work and you know what your hell yes is and what your fuck no's are, you rise in in worth and you attract a person who's of that same worth and you'll be able to say, hey, I didn't settle. I did the work and I didn't settle. You handled that really well, though. I mean, especially the part at the end. Yeah, I'm trying not to cut bait and run like I usually do. I'm a runner too. Really? Yeah. I'm kind of risk adverse. (laughs) That is very hard to believe. I mean, we met because you told me about what happened with Omar. That was putting yourself right in the middle of the conflict. Yeah. Uh, It's very unlike me, but I felt invested in you. I just knew that if I didn't tell you the truth, You'd leave the app and I'd never see you again. That's probably what would have happened. And I wanted you in my life. Oh, well, that's the nicest thing someone said to me in forever. Patrick did call you beauteous. Uh, That was a pickup line. (laughs) What you just said was from your heart. You asked me something last week and I didn't have an answer for you, but I think I do now. My name is Vita. Vita means life in Italian. So that's kind of the perfect name for a guardian angel. It's really, really lovely to finally meet you, Vita. Fain 
days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Talk for hours and never slept Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know mm -hmm. I love you. You look adorable. Oh, you didn't even see the whole thing. Hey, let me see the whole thing. There's buttons. It's got little frilly stuff. There's a little frilly skirt that goes. Oh, I just showed you my butt. <laughs> I wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> I'm really lonely. Okay. <laughs> no one's here. Who cares about my pants? You just got to laugh. Life sucks right now. It's awful. And the only thing we can do is just dress like a pirate. And make swords. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs>